On today's show, China considers giving foreign automakers more independence. Mercedes introduces a more powerful version of the AMG GT, and Ford pays homage to its 1966 Le Mans winner. All that and more coming right up on AutoLine Daily. This is AutoLine Daily for June 27 of 2016. A little over two decades ago, China began mandating that foreign automakers must form a joint venture with a domestic Chinese company in order to operate in the country. The foreign companies are only allowed to take up to a 50% stake in the venture. But now Bloomberg reports the government is considering lifting that cap. The chairman of Geely says removing it will encourage competition and benefit consumers. However, the China Association of Automobile Manufacturers is against the proposal and argues that Chinese brands will be hurt if the foreign companies can operate more independently. And for some great insight into the Chinese auto market, check out our most recent auto line this week. John sits down with three experts to get their analysis into China. You can watch that entire show on our website, or you can find it on our YouTube channel. Last week, it was revealed that VW will pay a fine of $10.2 billion in the U.S. over its diesel emission cheating scandal. Part of that agreement includes compensating owners between $1,000 and $7,000, depending on the age and condition of their car. And now regulators in Europe are calling for similar compensation for European owners. Reuters reports that the industry commissioner for the EU says it's unfair to treat European customers differently just because the legal systems are different. VW plans to fix vehicles with the cheating software, but doesn't have plans to compensate owners in Europe. Still to come, Mercedes introduces what it calls a road-going sports car with motor racing genes. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires. Your journey, our passion. Dow Automotive Systems, advanced materials that deliver better results. And by Lear, a global leader in automotive seating and electrical systems. For fans of the Mercedes AMG GT that didn't think it was quite fast enough, the company just slapped an R at the end of its name, which as you know, almost always means more go fast goodies. In this case, the width of the car has been increased for better cornering which is also aided by rear wheel steering and adjustable coilovers. Newly designed front and rear fascias with active aero elements were added to fit the car's wider track. Developers were able to squeeze another 70 or so horsepower out of the twin turbo V8, which now comes in at 577, mostly thanks to new turbochargers that can handle a little more boost. To finish it off, the car is draped in green hell magno paint. Look for the Mercedes AMG GTR to start hitting dealer showrooms midway through next year. To honor the 1966 Le Mans winning GT40, Ford is coming out with a limited edition version of the all new GT that was inspired by the race car. It comes in either a matte or gloss finish with silver racing stripes and number two decals on the hood and doors. Unique 20 inch wheels dipped in a gold satin clear coat and black lug nuts round out the changes to the exterior. Inside, the car is wrapped in black leather and features a number of gold accents. The Ford GT 66 Heritage Edition will only be sold as a 2017 model and I'm sure will prove to be a valuable collector's item for the lucky few who can get their hands on one. Coming up next, a look at an unlikely new inductee to the Automotive Hall of Fame. At Bridgestone, our engineers want to help make sure you're not stuck on the side of the road. Our revolutionary drive guard tires are engineered to take a puncture and drive up to 50 miles. Ready to go. Watch the Olympic Archer demo at BridgestoneTire.com. The Automotive Hall of Fame is full of many important people who help build and shape the automotive industry including executives, designers, engineers, and many more. But this year, the museum chose an unlikely new inductee, Ralph Nader. On AutoLine After Hours, we're joined by Bill Chapin, the president of the Hall of Fame, 
and he shared why they picked him. It, there is certainly more to the Ralph Nader story. Uh, uh, Hemmings broke the story on the people that we were inducting and, um, and led with the Ralph Nader story. Of course, um, that's the news. Yeah. And you got to get, I mean, that must have been a long, drawn out argument. Yeah. Do, and, yeah. do you, you know, for automotive people to induct Ralph Nader, that's, mm -hmm. wow, that's it, gutsy. It, it, it took, it, we had, we didn't serve uh, coffee, but we, uh, it, it went on for some number of hours and into a couple of different sessions. But when you think about uh, uh, Ralph Nader's contribution over time, I mean, you know, when Hemings announced this story, there were there are now over 250, um, you know, comments on this story, mostly from Corvair owners mm -hmm. who still are obviously passionate about the subject. Um, but when you stand back and look at it, this number of years later, what if you if you get, if think about what happened and you listen to people um, like Bob Lutz, who was quoted in The New York Times about, you know, I didn't really like the guy, I wasn't wild about the book, but uh, somebody needed to come in and um, have that kind of an impact that he had uh, on, and, and, and I won't say regulated, because that's not quite the, the, that extreme, but it was, uh, but, but Lutz will come back and it was quoted again, and as I say in the New York Times saying, it, it was necessary. It was, uh, it really ultimately long-term helped, uh, helped the industry, which I think with time and with distance, um, I think most everybody uh, agrees with, except for some of the Corvair owners, and I understand that. To learn more about the other inductees to the Automotive Hall of Fame, you can watch that show right now on our website, Autoline.tv, or you can look for it on our YouTube channel. And to get our opinions of all the cars we get to drive, check out the Seat Time section of our website. Be sure to let us know what you think. If that wraps up today's show. Thank you for watching. Please join us again tomorrow.